Lots of the human physiology experiments that we do on board the space station need the astronauts' blood in order to collect the data. So this morning is one of the mornings I have to do self-phlebotomy um, and draw some blood. Thankfully not too much this morning. Um, so the key to doing phlebotomy in space I think is probably good preparation. So I think I'm ready to go. I've got my uh, sterile gauze there so I can clean my arm, butterfly needle, and then two blood tubes, so not too much this morning, followed by some gauze and a band-aid, and I mustn't forget my tourniquet. So with everything ready to go, now I just need to uh, stick myself. So I'll get the tourniquet ready to go first of all and get that on my arm. And uh, a good location, thankfully I've got quite big veins, so for me it's quite easy. And then just clean the location, start at the centre, and work out. That's good. Get my needle. Sharps container here as well, so I'll pop the debris in the sharps container and then I'm ready for the stick. So, a nice big vein, 30 degree angle. In we go, wait till we get a flash. There's a flash there, so that's the needle in. I'm going to put a little bit of tape over just to keep that needle in the right position. keeps the needle from moving around too much and then the first tube I have to do is this one tubes filling up quite nicely now these tubes are uh, vacuumed so obviously they'll be sucking the blood out give it about 20 seconds for the tube to fill that nice look, looks like it's filled nicely so I remove that tube and then we just have to agitate them for about 10 seconds each tube. And then after 30 minutes of coagulation, these tubes will go into a refrigerated centrifuge. Second tube. There we go. Okay, that looks good. Sometimes you have tube failures and they don't draw up too much blood, but thankfully the two tubes have worked this morning, so I don't need any spares. What I'll do now is release the tourniquet. And then ready to withdraw my needle. Needle's out. Safe the needle. It's nice and safe, and then quick bit of pressure. mop up any blood thankfully not too much and then uh, the next thing we have to do is leave those tubes to coagulate and then they'll go in the centrifuge so that's it so that's 30 minutes of coagulation so now what we need to do is put the two blood tubes into the refrigerated centrifuge and then uh, that will take about 30 minutes of spinning at 3800 rpm and once that's happened we can put them into the Melfi the minus 80 uh, freezer In the centrifuge we've got a couple of counterweights there so that it's equally balanced. That all looks good. Settings are all okay and we just need to press start. Okay, that's the centrifuge stopped. The door is now unlocked. There we have our two tubes. Just need to write my name and date and time on it. Okay. Ready to go over into the freezer.
So here we are in the Japanese module, the JPM, and these two blood tubes are going into this mouthy down here. And uh, I've written on my hand the location, so don't forget, two delta drawers three and four. I've put the two blood tubes into a small mesh bag. <clears throat> so number two delta is in here. And before I do that, actually, I'll just put on some gloves because this thing is cold. And if you touch the metal, it'll give you an ice burn. Just some gloves here. Okay. Two delta. And three and four will be in here. that's all done and uh, those blood tubes will then return on a SpaceX vehicle at some point in the future.